Hello and welcome back to the Gauntlet of Greatness. I'm Randy Bueller and today we get to look at one of the most ridiculous decks in the history of magic. The only card that ever caused wizards to issue an emergency ban. This one. Memory mm -hmm. Jar. Five mana, crack it, both players draw seven. At the end of the turn, both players get back their original hands. I mean, it may sound like a bit of a clunky draw seven, but... Mm -hmm. With Tinker, you can go get it on turn three. With Mox Diamond, Lotus Petal, Mana Vault, you can go get it on turn one. And then, I mean, fast mana and access to a bunch of cards, it's just a matter of figuring out what's the best kill condition in the format. Well, in Standard, the answer was Megrum. Uh, that is Memory Jar Hands. At the end of the turn, it turns out that, well, you're discarding all of the cards that you picked up with the jar. So two jars or two Megrums... The opponent's dead. Uh, so that's the combo, and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to be playing against Dragonstorm. Uh, this Dragonstorm list is basically the list that uh, Makihito Mahara used to win the World Championships. And uh, this Jar deck, like I said, it wasn't legal for long. Uh, it was Eric Lauer and I broke the deck and actually flew to a Grand Prix in Vienna. Uh, that was the thing that triggered Watsi to issue the emergency ban. And um, yeah, so I don't have a good reference for standard deck list, but I know what Lauer and I were up to in extended, and this is just the uh, standard legal version of it. In extended, you had even more fast mana. You had ancient tombs and, and things like that. Um, pretty ridiculous. So uh, we'll start in the match shortly. All right, here we go. The match has started. All right, uh, yes, I would absolutely like to play first. This draw has a bunch of mana and it doesn't do anything. Yeah, I can't keep that. It just, it doesn't do anything. Deck mulligans pretty well though. Wow, so now we have no fast mana. I can't keep that either. Oh, wow, now we need any land. Ugh. Any land would let us tinker for memory jar. But I can't both play the City of Traders and discard it to the Mox Diamond. I'm not going any lower, though. That is the hand we're keeping. Play City of Trainers. And uh, we need to draw a land. This deck doesn't go off very quickly, though. Dragonstorm is basically needs to build up some time. You put a Lotus Bloom into the Exile Zone. There we go. Sweet. Yeah, pretty clearly casting the Mox Diamond. Testing some decade old memories. Hopefully, I remember how to do all of this. Uh, the Mox Diamond. Now, I haven't played a land this turn. So I should be able to just go off from here. There's so much fast mana in the deck. Ugh, it doesn't keep going. Lame. So I don't have any way to draw more cards, which means that I'm not winning this turn. I am willing to lose the City of Traders in order to get down a pair of mana vaults and a lotus petal. And that's not bad, right? I'm up two mana vaults and a lotus petal. I get my original hand back and I remember there's a jar and there's a Yawgmoth's Will in my original hand, so uh, 
can open up my graveyard and start thinking about that Yawgmoth's Well. So what does Yawgmoth's Well get? It gets... Well, I can't actually get a Mox Diamond because I don't have any land to discard to it, but there's a Tinker over there, there's a Jar over there. We should be fine. And he's got Remands? Probably should have paid two life to bluff Remand there. Um, but the way he did it, I don't have to worry about Remand, and I can just kind of go off again this turn. No, I'm not interested in untapping Mana Vaults that are already untapped. But that's okay. Great! So... I can... Go off with so what do I do? I have three, six, seven, eight, nine. I can play a memory jar. Question is, do I want to crack this Yogmoss will? If I crack the Yogmoss will, funny, I don't have much colored mana. I guess I can uh, I can get an underground river out of the graveyard in order to tinker. Yeah, so there's two memory jars in my graveyard, and there's one in my hand. I guess I just leave the memory jar in my hand. Yeah, I'm going to cast Yawgmoth's Will. <laughs> so let me put a Lotus Petal into play. And then, I don't know if it's better to do the Tinker or the Jar. It's probably slightly better to do the Jar. Yeah, that way I can keep the Lotus Petal in case I get desperate for black mana. I also still have a land drop coming. So I will spend five mana on this Memory Jar. And I can crack it and still just have all that stuff there. Oh, I can play the Mox Diamond discarding the land from my hand that I don't really need. Now, let's crack the jar. I found Megrum. So we should be good. Alright, I'm kind of tight on mana here. I can, um, what do I have? I have one, two, three, four mana, plus I get a land drop. So I can get to six, so I can Megrum and I can Tinker, which should do it, right? If I play the City of Traders, it's one, two, wait, is it six? Yeah, six mana is a Megrum and a Tinker, and that should do it. that's in my graveyard. Go get another memory jar. It's the last one. Got our money's worth this time. And crap. Yeah, none of these cards mean anything. I can't imagine what he can do from here. So we just... I'll unwind. Two memory jars mean he's going to discard seven, and then he's going to discard seven. Uh, F7 should let me put all those onto the stack without having to care about the order. I will always yield. Second memory jar, end of turn trigger, seven more, there you go. <laughs> My opponent suspended a Lotus Bloom 
only had two turns left until it was finally going to come into play. This deck, like, I forgot I also have the Soul Lands. God, what did the extended version have that this one didn't? Oh, I guess the extended version had Vampiric Tutors and Defense Grids. But, yeah, the extended version of the deck, the one that uh, we flew to the Grand Prix, Eric and I both top eight at the Grand Prix, um, the standard had almost all of the cards. He doesn't sideboard anything. He's still kind of slow. Like, what do I even... He's got Remands. I'm not so worried about Remand that I want a defense grid. I could have a Pyro. I could have a Duress. He doesn't actually... Whatever. I am just going to shuffle it up. I'm not sideboard. The deck is, the deck is just so crazy. We're just going to go off. See what happens. Wow, that was a mulligan to five, too. Hilarious. All right, well... Oh, do I have no black mana? I can Ritual Ritual Memory Jar to play a turn one Memory Jar, except that I have no colored mana. So it's a turn three jar, which does kind of bring Remand into play. Man, if I draw anything, though... I guess Tinkers don't help. I need to draw colored mana. I need to draw a Petal, or Mox Diamond, or Land... Meanwhile, I'm playing, like, Tomb Tomb City. I think I keep this. Not positive. We'll see. Huh. I think we now get... Uh... Seven. Yeah. We're pretty closing in on two jars. It's like, remain your jar. Play it again. It's another nice thing to sink black mana into. Yeah, oh, by the way, this deck gets to play Necropotence, because that's, that's fair. Maybe that means I should have mulliganed. There's so many ridiculous draws in this deck. Telling time. Have fun. At least you got to cast a spell this game. I think he can turn for me without a Lotus, right? Kind of knew that would happen. Now what you got? Still playing defense. That's fine. Wow, I have not played a land. If I find a land, then I get all my rituals turned on. Yeah, I totally cracked this. Not a lot of land. Um, oh, I have a colorless floating. Awesome. Colorless floating means I can play mana vault and land. I guess I play the city so that I can just tinker up a second jar. Yeah, I lose my city of traders. jar in the deck, but that's okay. These are all just going to go to the graveyard anyway. Yeah, if I can get Petal or Mox into a ritual into a Megaram, I just win. It's a little tricky since there's so many rituals in my initial hand, but, but we got there. <laughs> Unless he can counter it.
Yeah, if he has a remand, that will be annoying. I think he has Mana League style counters, but. Do I win? Lame! I don't win. And I don't have the black mana. Man, if I'd had a ritual, if I hadn't had all my rituals trapped in my opening draw. Alright, well, we're gonna have to find a Yogmoth's Will to run it all back. I've got land, though. I would have won the game if he didn't have a ram in that hand. Okay, two Yawgmoth's Wills go to the graveyard. Definitely need to kind of pop this out. Let's see what's going on. Oh, it's going to Giga Drowse, my Mana Vault. Good play. Annoying, but good. So yeah, this hand is all Rituals in that jar. I've got two Yawgmoth's Wills left in my deck. So should be able to just ritual, 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 jar. The annoying part is that what I don't have in my deck are memory jars. There's three of them in the graveyard, which means the tinkers don't do anything. He's going to hard cast on Dragon. Hilarious. I'm okay with this. It means you're tapped out. I don't have to worry anymore about these stupid... How does this work? I just block with all. Oh, funny. Yeah? It's actually lethal next turn. Hilarious. It's kind of pinching my mana. I have all these rituals, though. I'm not going to pay for it to untap. actually did make this kind of tricky. Underground River. Alright. nervous about. I can't actually tap both City and Ancient Tomb. Um, I'm going to need a two colorless land. I guess I might. Alright. I will cast Memory Jar. Come on. Yeah, we just need to hit a Yawgmoth's Will. We hit a Yawgmoth's Will. No land. I guess... I can Tinker? So he can't do anything about Yawgmoth's Will. I can tap Ancient Tomb. I can go to one. I can cast Yawgmoth's Will. I'll have one black floating. So we get Ritual, Ritual, Ritual. Um, Mana Vault. So that's 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10 with the pedal, 11 with replay the pedal. I can play City of Traders. Yeah, we've just got it. No reason not to Ancient Tomb, right? Alright. I could try to tinker here for like a mana vault or something. It doesn't seem worth it. Ritual, 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 pedal, mana vault. Tap the mana vault. So that's seven. 10, 11, so play the Megrum, 
Oh, I just play Char, right? I haven't actually played a land yet. No reason not to crack this jar and make sure I can boot a kill. Alright. Petal. Okay. I need a lot. Nineteen cards left in our library, there's no danger of getting decked. Did I play land? Overkill! Because it's fun. Alright. <laughs> I forgot I could attack for six with those guys. Ah! I could actually have killed him with one jar and one megrum. Hilarious. I didn't even think that actually makes the megrum kill easier. Well, here we go. Three jar hands onto the stack. Fourteen Megram triggers each. Thank goodness for the F7 key. And the always yield key. Always yield? Yes. <laughs> Broken deck is broken. Stay tuned. We'll have more Gauntlet of Greatness matches 